This video takes a look at the techniques that are involved in SPC for Excel for comparing multiple processes. For example, you may have multiple machines, multiple shifts, that you want to see if there's a difference in the average or the variance within those processes. And the techniques we have are listed under multiple processes here on the SPC for Excel ribbon. We have five that deal with the averages or means. One is Fisher's LSD method, Tunkey's method is another one, Bufferoni's method, box and whisker plots, and then analysis of means. And we also have two that deal with the equality of variance, Bartlett's and modified Levine's. So let's take a look at how these techniques work. Suppose we have five different machines, A, B, C, D, and E, and we want to know if they operate at the same average. So we've collected some data from machine A, machine B, and so forth. All we do is enter that information into the Excel spreadsheet, and then we're going to select the data that we have. Here's data for machine A, machine B, machine C. Select that data. Then we go to the SPC for Excel ribbon, select multiple processes, and we're just going to use Fisher's LSD methods for mean. We select OK. It brings up the input box, and we are using our data in unstacked format. It could be stacked also. But here's the range we selected ahead of time. This is the alpha value we want to use, and we select OK, and our output is generated. So let's take a look at the output real briefly. Here we have the original data for the four, excuse me, five machines and some statistical information for them, average standard deviation. Then we have the ANOVA table where we take the source, which is the treatment. We're looking at different machines. Those are called treatments. And we have the sum of squares, degrees of freedom, mean square F. But the key thing is the p-value. If it's less than 0 0.05, it means there are some of the averages that are different. And in this case, it's 0 0.0012, which is less than 0 0.05. So we know that some of the machines are operating at different averages. And that's in red to help point that out. And then you get the details of the Fisher's least significant uh, difference method. And what it has is it has every possible comparison of the machines. For example, A and B compared here. Go across and I'll tell you, yes, there is a significant difference between A and C. No, there is not a significant difference. And so forth. So all the way down to the difference between D and E that they say is significant. Now we also provide a chart of the confidence intervals and it's easy to see which ones are different and which aren't here. If the confidence interval goes through zero, it means they are the same. If a confidence interval doesn't go through zero, it means there's difference. So here you see A and B, the confidence interval does not include zero. So there's a significant difference between those two. But here A and C, it does include zero. And so there is not a significant difference between those two. And this is the way that the process works all for for most of the techniques in the multiple processes, you'll be very similar output for Tunkey's method, Bonferroni's method, Bartlett's method, and modified Levine's method. The box and whisker analysis of means have a little different output that we'll take a look at. Let's take a look at analysis of means as a method of telling whether or not there are differences between our processes. We'll use the same data as we had before, five machines with four different results, and we want to find out if the averages are the same or there are any differences between them. I'm going to use multiple processes again. In this case, it's going to be Dr. Donald Wheeler's analysis of mean process. We'll simply select OK. Brings up the input screen. We've got our range selected already, titles and labels that you can change. You select OK. What it does is it generates essentially two charts that gives you the results. So you can see from this chart if there's a red point beyond the upper limit or below the lower limit, then you have the means are different. So this says machine B difference is significantly different, machine C is, and machine D is. And here's the range chart down here. We also include all the calculations that go along with the analysis of means. So that's a quick look at how you do analysis of mean. The ones that are in red are significantly different than the others. Now let's take a quick look at the box and whisker plot. We have three cities listed, Seattle, San Antonio, and New York. We have the average temperature for each month of the year, and we want to see how those vary from one city to city. So what we do is we select our data, as usual. We come to the SPC for Excel ribbon, multiple processes, and here we're going to select box and whisker. Select OK. Brings us our input box where we have our range selected. Data can be in columns or rows. We have the title, box, and whisker plot. Measurement down here, you can change those. We have the option to label with Q1, Q3, median, and whiskers. I must do that. Select OK. And here's our results. We have our box and whisker plot. So you can see the median and the difference between the three cities, Seattle, San Antonio, and New York. And you can see the range of the results in those. So that's box and whisker plots. So this gives you a quick introduction to the, the multiple processes techniques that we have within the SPC for Excel software. Thank you for watching the video.